Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. This is Mototech. Last time I made a video showcasing how I'm protecting my Flux node, which is a decentralized cloud infrastructure node introduced by the Flux Foundation. It is essentially a Ubuntu server, and then you have Flux OS running on top of it. And then you have the customers running their own apps, website, or games as containers on top of the Flux OS. So today we're going to set up some defense mechanism to protect our infrastructure, which is the Ubuntu server. The free software we're going to use is called Wazoo. It is free, but it's being used by many of the top Fortune 500 companies. We can use Wazoo to audit our devices according to different compliance standards, such as GDPR and HIPAA. We can look for common vulnerabilities it takes a proactive approach to monitor suspicious activities such as unauthorized activities, brute force loggings, and privilege escalations. You can also generate reports and visualize complex data if you like looking at colorful charts. So there are two major steps in this process. Number one is setting up the backend server for Wazoo, and that consists of the indexer, which you use to store all your logs. And then you have the server, which is also called manager, that has the core features of Wazoo. And then you also have the dashboard, which will give you the option to do all the things you need to do through a browser. And the second major step is to deploy our agents on our endpoint and that's our ubuntu servers that's running flux os in fact you can actually run this on windows mac a lot of other linux distributions definitely follow along if you're new to cybersecurity, some of the stuff may not make sense to you right away you know learning cybersecurity is kind of like learning a new language for the first few months things may not make sense but one day you wake up all in a sudden your light bulb just comes on right you just gotta keep trying don't give up it's a really high demand scale you can easily get paid six figures at entry level that being said if you want to learn more about entry level cybersecurity, please subscribe to my channel join our discord and follow us on twitter all right without further ado let's get this started we're going to set up wazoo the easiest way there are many complex ways you can set it up in terms of the network design and node architecture but for today we just want to get it working so we we'll need a device that runs 24-7, 365, because we need that to receive all the logs that's being forwarded from all your endpoints, all your flux nodes. You can definitely use a Raspberry Pi. If you have a workstation that you leave on all the time, you can also create a VM, but you have to use a bridge network. So you are in the same network, not a subnet with all your other endpoints you're trying to monitor. Again, we're not getting into different VLANs, port forwarding and all that for this video. So you basically just need something that you can install Ubuntu server on it. You can use other Linux distribution to run Wazoo server. However, for this video, we're gonna focus on Ubuntu. I will not show you how to install Ubuntu on your device because I don't know what device you have. However, I will link some videos or guides in the description below for either Raspberry Pi or virtual machine. So on the requirement, it recommends uh, you have at least four CPUs, eight gigabytes of RAM and 50 gigabytes if you want to store logs for 90 days. And if you don't have that, when you try to run this easy install one-liner script, it will actually tell you you don't meet the minimum requirement. For us, we have this Pi-hole virtual machine that we used last time to film our previous video. However, I don't think it meets the minimum requirement. We actually have to shut this down. So once that VM is shut down in Proxmos, we can click edit our memory. So we need eight gigs, which is 8196. We need four cores. So we just say four. CPUs, and we're going to start this VM again. As you can see, I already have a Wazoo server running. I'm just gonna use this virtual machine to demonstrate how to install, and then I'm gonna switch over to my Wazoo server to actually show you how to install a agent. So once you start the device, we're going to log in, and I'm gonna use PuTTY because I'm on Windows. So now we have logged into our Pi-hole. We're just gonna go to the quick start page on Wazoo. Going to copy this one liner that says download and run the Wazoo installation assistant. We're gonna type in sudo su. This will get you into root. And then you paste this one liner command and hit enter. It will install your Wazoo agent. So this process may take about three minutes. All right, we have finished installing. We're just gonna copy down this password right here. You can do a control shift and C and that will 
copy the password and you can paste it into a text editor all right now just remember what ip address 46.39 and then once we visit https 192.168.46.39 it brings us to our wazoo login typing admin username and then you're going to also copy this password and put in here click login after you finish running house checks so you will see there's total zero agent there's nothing here go towards these hamburger whatever you call this uh thing and click it and go down to security and then click internal users you want to create your own username and password right so for this one we're just gonna create internal user just say moto tech and then you give it a very secure password or the one that you can remember easily and make sure in the back end rows you put in admin and this will give you full admin access click create as you can see moto tech user is created now you can just click log out and then log in with your the account you have created so that was our step one for step two which is actually installing the wazoo agent as you can see this is uh the one that i'm actually running in production you can see currently I have two agents we see a lot of firewall rule changes uh, we'll check those out later so in security event we'll be able to see different logs so if we click into event we'll be able to see uh, more details for example it, it will say root description if it start with audit that's from a software called audit d which is a free open source software that we can install on our linux it tells you hey this node and then somebody ran this command uh, last they use this dash m perimeter and also there's a second perimeter in this case was 20 so that's the command it ran and also you can see the full log here we're not going to dive into these command at the moment for today's video we just want to bring these logs into our wazoo manager so we can actually see and we can actually have alerts triggered so we have cumulus 3 and cumulus 2 we're going to install our agent on our cumulus 1 device so the first thing we need to do is ssh into our cumulus 1 flux node okay so the next thing we want to do is a sudo su to switch over to root and then in terms of installing a agent is actually very easy all you got to do is wazoo and click click on agent it brings you to the agent page and then you click deploy new agent in this case all our flux os are running on ubuntu servers so we're gonna click ubuntu and we're running 64-bit ubuntu for our address and this will be the address of your wazoo server you can see it uh, for me it will be in the address bar it's 192.168.46.40 default group you can just go with that and then you automatically generate a command you have to run on your ubuntu server the endpoint so in this case we're going to switch over to a cumulus one node and then we're going to right click to paste all these commands and hit enter and next thing we need to do is copy down the start the agent command down here there are three commands and then you just right click to paste you actually have to hit enter for the last command to run we need to use nano gonna be slash var slash osec slash etsy and slash osec.config and I hit enter so here we can see for some reason the address still says 46.38 and we're just going to change that to 46.40 we're going to be using audit logs so at the end we'll also need to pasting a block of command so i will also have this page for you ready you come to this page uh, user manual, basically monitor system calls, configuration. You need to copy this block, which says the log format is audit and the location of the audit log is slash var slash log slash audit audit dot log. Copy this and right click and make sure you fix the format. Address right address all these blocks. And there we go. This will tell the agent to forward this part of the log control x it will tell you if you want to save this yes and same name yes hit enter after changing our configuration we still have to go through a command system ctl or do a restart wazoo dash agent dot service and hit enter and that will restart the wazoo agent on our flux node remember the audit log block 
we just paste it into our uh, agent config on the endpoint itself. We also have to copy this, go back to Wazoo agent, click on this little arrow here, go to management and then click configuration. And on the top right, make sure you click edit configuration and bring it all the way to the end. Make sure you paste this uh, audit log and log location in this section. Make sure it's all dressed right addressed. And then after that, you just go click save and then you need to restart manager. Okay. The next thing we do is to install audit, which is also pretty simple. We just follow this guide right here. apt get install audit D. And that's the command we're going to run. Hit enter and hit Y. So right now, auto D doesn't have any rules. And we're actually just going to add just one rule. I will have this command in the description below. You hit enter. So this is basically an empty auto D rule file. The rule we're going to paste in is this. We're actually going to paste this twice. We're going to change our architect because we're using a 64, um, but some of the commands are going to be run in 32 bits. So all this is monitoring UID zero, meaning it's root. And we're monitoring to execute any commands at both B64 and B32. Then we're just going to control X, Y, enter, and this saves a rule. And then we'll have to reload the auto D rules or we'll just hit enter. So after reloading the rule, the logs should be forwarding at this point. We're going back to Wazoo agent and we're going to take a look at our cumulus and we're going to look at our security events. There is a bunch of audit logs. Uh, something's trying to install stuff with snap. There's a bunch of other commands being run. I'm not going to dive into details. All right, guys, that was a pretty quick video explaining how to set up Wazoo server and also deploy the agents on your Flux nodes. If you have questions, definitely hop on our Discord server and ask questions there. Please like and subscribe to my channel. This is Monotech. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time.